Understanding our species. I am constantly being asked what my secrets are for regenerating and making the physical body vital again. There have been hundreds of books written about health and nutrition, most of which are variations on other people's hypotheses or old ideas, which never seem to change. Some are plainly foolish. On the shelves of your local bookstore you will find books on blood types, mega dosing with vitamins and minerals, high protein diets, and the like. Some of these programs are highly toxic to the body, in my experience, and actually kill many people each year. I think health is much less complex than these books indicate. My approach is simply, eat the foods that are biologically suited for your species. This might seem to be oversimplified or plain confusing, but let's take a moment to explore and determine just what type of species we are. Imagine yourself standing somewhere in the plains or jungles of Africa. Look out over a vast landscape and see elephants, giraffes, deer, hippos, silverback apes, chimpanzees, snakes, birds of all kinds, lions, cheetahs, and many other animals. Now if I ask you one simple question, which of these animals do we homo sapiens look like, which one would you pick? The primates, of course. These are fugivores, as we are. Now some might say that this is far too simplistic a comparison on which to build our case. Okay, then let's kill, I would never, one animal from each species and bring them back to the lab. Let's dissect each animal and look at its anatomy and physiology to determine which one we humans most resemble, internally. The list that follows designates the four classes of vertebrates, carnivores, omnivores, herbivores and fugivores, highlighting the differences among them. 1. Carnivores. Includes, cats, cheetahs, lions, etc. Diet, mainly meats, some vegetables, grass and herbs. Digestive system. Tongue, very rough for pulling and tearing. Salivary glands, none. Small intestine, smooth and short. Liver, 50% larger than that of humans, very complex with five distinct chambers, heavy bile flow for heavy gastric juices. Eliminative system, colon, smooth, non-saculated, minimal ability for absorption. GI tract, three times the length of the spine. 2. Omnivores includes birds including chickens turkeys etc hogs and dogs diet some meat vegetables fruits roots and some barks digestive system tongue moderate to rough salivary glands underactive stomach moderate gastric acids hcl and pepsin small intestines somewhat saculated which accounts for their ability to eat vegetables Liver, complex and larger proportionally than that of humans. Eliminative system, colon, shorter than human colon, with minimal absorption. GI tract, 10 times the length of the spine. 3. Herbivores. Includes, horses, cows, sheep, elephants, deer, giraffes. Diet, vegetables, herbs and some roots and barks. Digestive system, tongue, moderately rough. Salivary glands, alkaline digestion starts here. Stomach, oblong, ringed, and the most complex, as a rule, has four or more pouches or stomachs, weak stomach acids. Small intestines, long and saculated for extensive absorption. Liver, similar to human, slightly larger in capacity. Eliminative system, colon, long and saculated, ringed for extensive absorption. GI tract, 30 times the length of the spine. 4. Fugivores. Includes, humans and primates, apes, chimpanzees, monkeys. Diet, mainly fruits, nuts, seeds, sweet vegetables and herbs. Digestive system, tongue, smooth, used mainly as a shovel. Salivary glands, alkaline digestive energies start here. Stomach, oblong with two compartments. Small intestines, saculated for extensive absorption. Liver, simple and average size, not large and complex, like carnivores. Eliminative system, colon, saculated for extensive absorption, GI tract, 12 times the length of the spine. 
After dissecting and observing different species' anatomical structures and physiological processes we come to the same conclusion, humans are fugivores, like it or not. The human is the only species that is confused about what to eat. As children we are instinctual in what we want to eat. I can fill a large table with every type of food that humans eat, and put a small child in front of the table. Guess which foods they will always go to? Fruits and flowers, the high-energy, colorful foods. That is because we are fugivores, not omnivores. If a human were truly a carnivore, he or she would enjoy catching a live animal, ripping it apart, and eating it as it is, and I don't know of too many people who enjoy this. It is not difficult to understand that we need to start eating as our biological makeup demands. On top of this, we need to realize that no animal cooks its food before eating it. Zookeepers learned years ago never to feed cooked foods to any animal, as this will cause them to sicken and die. I don't know of any veterinarian who encourages people to feed their house pets from the table. Why? Simple. Our pets will get the same diseases we have. Cooking your food destroys it. It changes the chemistry and severely reduces its electrical energy. God intended food for life, not death. God is about life, energy, love and happiness. Of course, we can have the other two, depression, anger, hate and ego. It is always our choice. A healthy vital physical body can also make our emotional and mental bodies healthy. Health breeds awareness and joy for living, which most people have lost. All of humankind is biologically the same. Our physiological processes and our anatomical makeup are virtually the same, whether we are from China, India or America. However, the consciousness, awareness, the activity level, and the parts of the body used all make a difference in the types of foods we generally eat or crave. Don't make getting healthy complicated. Keep it simple. Foods can bind you to this world or set you free. If you have never experienced this, then start the journey now into a new world of vitality. Seek to be free from the chains of food addictions that undermine your health and create bondage to the lower aspects of God. I invite you to become vital again and enjoy the rewards of life. Recondition your mind and retrain your emotions to enjoy the simplicity of eating raw fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Understand your species and eat the foods that will make your body healthy.